What's up, Icy? We are back with another video. Uh, Y'all, I love these videos. These are my favorite videos simply because they're so educating and I feel like I'm passing down some knowledge and I'm able to help the younger generation uh, on things that I didn't have the help on. As you can read by the title, um, the purpose of the video is Let's Talk Gay Talk, girl. Um, if you hear you're part of the community or um, planning to be a part of the community or you just want to educate yourself on the LGBT but uh, LGBTQ plus community and that's no issue. My point in this video is to educate the younger gays who don't have that guidance or those people or none of that influence around them to help them understand more so about the community or something that they claim themselves to be. Me being a younger gay when I was younger I knew I was gay I just was like dang I never know what goes on in the community like I know all the stuff about the heterosexual community I know how they do it I know how positions I know how everything works but then it was like as I got older and I came out and I just went into the community I just was pushed out there and it was just nothing. Like it was just everything coming at me. Like everybody like, what's your position? What you doing? Like, like I know this already. And it's just like, this is not a no book. This is not an internet. This is no, this is just stuff that's usually passed on word of mouth, like type things, stories, X, Y, and Z. Like people usually don't know about the community until you get old enough to go out into the streets. And when you get out into the streets or the world, you get out there and just be like, hmm, wow, I didn't know none of this. Nobody, no, I didn't know none of this. But somehow, someway, you knew everything about the heterosexual community. Now, let's talk about that. A community that you're not part of. So, with that being said, I'm here to change that narrative and make these videos and this information that needs to be pushed out there to help the next person. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video, the best video. The that girl, you can be that girl too if you jump on the team and subscribe. Uh, my Instagram is Kari underscore famous. Every ad handle on social media is Kari underscore famous, except my Snapchat. My Snapchat is it's underscore Kari, and I made it in seventh grade, so judge your mama, don't judge me. Finding yourself and the LGBTQ plus community. Um, that line alone is just like, um, what's the word, controversial because our community is a group of people that are all trying to find yourself. So imagine you trying to find yourself thinking about step into the community that's going to help you and fulfill you and give you those examples of what you want to be and what you want to do. And you get in this community and everybody is doing the same thing, if that makes sense. Everybody's trying to find themselves. So it's like, what? You kind, of, you kind of be confused. So with that being said, I would not recommend you going into the community trying to find yourself. Don't try to go in the community trying to fill any holes, any voids, any abandonment issues, any love issues, anything of, of that sort or nature because it hurts you in the long run. Because you're going into these group of people that barely know themselves and how to love themselves and they're trying to tell you or help you love yourself. Like, does that make sense? Like, you can't pour water into a plant that needs fertilizer, if that makes sense. Like, you can't go into Home Depot and say, I need water for this plant, even though the plant clears they need fertilizer. I like, I, if that makes sense, yeah, so we just gonna move on, because I'm just talking. Please don't go into the community trying to find yourself, that's all I want to say. Uh, the biggest thing that I want to talk about today is, what is my position, and how do I know? That is like a dying question within the community. It is a dreadful question within the LGBTQ plus community because that can make or break a potential relationship or anything within the community. Honestly, because people really associate certain energies and certain images with the position you are, whatever you do in bed. And for my people who don't know, I mean, what, like, so in the LGBTQ plus community, you have positions. You have a bottom, a verse, and a top. I said it in a weird way, but top, bottom, and first. So, your top is a person who prefers to give it. Um, They prefer to do the poke They take the Chico stick and put this, fill somebody up, girl. Yeah, that's usually what your top is. And then, a bottom is a person who prefers to be, you know, for the back, 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 for the back. Prefer that, you know? And then a verse is a person who they is fluid um but a verse is basically like a person who does both you know they do the poking they take the poking like you do me i do you this is this is fun we having fun verses are usually very very fun versatility you know that's what that refers to so yeah that is like a breakdown of the three different positions now for my younger gays that's watching this you're wondering how do i know my position because i know when i was growing up it was just hard like how do i know i'm supposed to be this or how do i know i'm supposed to be that and if you're going to the community expecting them to help you they gon' they they gon' tell you your position based off your um your outer appearance. So if you're more feminine, towards the feminine side, they probably gonna say you're a bottom. If you're 
more masculine type, they're gonna stay at the top. And that's why I say don't go into the community looking for that because it can guide you wrong. The only true way to find out what your position is, find things out. Um, I'm not a person trying things out. I kind of know things. I'm like strategic and I just know things about myself. And personally, I just knew Topper wasn't for me. I knew. I just I just knew and just I'm a bottom. I want to do that. And I'm on camera. For years, I have been like a bottom. And as I've been getting older and older, I'm like, maybe one day with the right person, I don't mind trying it because I never know until I try it type thing. And it's like, it's sex. So, you know, you can have fun with that and venture off with that with people that you trust and have that connection with, if that makes sense. So I'm just waiting on that connection to try that thing. But until then, I am a bottom. I don't care. I'm not trying it. That's not me, you know? All of that to say, just try it. Don't let nobody tell you what you are. You go find out what you are. And I don't mean you have to do many things with me, people to find out what you are until you like it, but you will know. You will know what you are once you have your first experience. You're just like, that's not for me or it is for me type thing. And another big thing with these positions, do not let that position determine who you are as a person. That position does not make you. So just because the community may associate masculinity with being a top doesn't mean when you if you decide to be a top you don't gotta walk around like I'm all hard I'm that girl I'm Trey I'm a man don't touch my butt don't do this I'm not acting that way y'all don't walk around calling people faggots don't don't look down upon femininity or anything as such simply because you feel like you a top and you gotta be masculine that's not how that works stop letting that position determine you and to add to piggyback off of that just because somebody is a bottom or they tell you they're a bottom doesn't mean they have to be feminine or they have to be a girl everybody don't have to tuck everybody don't have to put on a wig everybody don't have to put on makeup some of the feminine most fishiest girls in the world fishy real film girl they are out here topping the girls the heterosexual community put so much of their normatives and things of their community on us it starts to mess with us like, very fluid, be fluid, you're gay for a reason. Like, you're able to be wherever you wanna be. Do, what you're doing in the bed does not determine who you're gonna be in that 24 hours of the day. Please, just, just, please balance it out. The key to it is balancing it out. Balancing your masculine energy as well as your feminine energy. Like, me, personally, I identify myself as a butch queen because I feel like I bring both to the table. Like, I love my masculine side. I love my feminine side. So I'm gonna collide both of them. So I might put on the suit and throw on a little purse with a little lip gloss and it look cute. I might get a little light beat, like some light makeup and then put on a cute like boy outfit and rock it and it looks good on me because I'm able to do that, you know? But honestly, just don't let society being uncomfortable determine who you are because that's usually what it is. Um, people have a certain preconceived image of what something should look like in their head and once it doesn't look like that, it really conflicts with them because they're just like, hmm, you're gay. Gay is feminine. Gay is soft. And if you gay, I mean, you want to act like a girl. Why are you not acting like a girl? Why are you not wearing makeup? Why are you not doing this, that, like the other gays? It's because we all not the same. We all not the same. Every gay person has double do hair. Every gay person don't twerk. Every gay person doesn't like sex. Like, every, we all are different. We're people at the end of the day. Gender construction that they have set in place. And then once you, like, get out of that, or go against that, you would become like a big issue. So please don't let that interfere with you growing and turn into the person you are. Also, uh, another, another one of my topics that I wrote down is don't let peer pressure change you or fold you or make you do things that you don't want to do. Sometimes when you look a certain way, people will try to force you to do things. So like me, I'm butch queen, but I told y'all I'm a bottom. Sometimes when I look good, when I look like real masculine, when I decide to jump on my masculine side, some people will come at me and attack me, like other bottles will come at me and attack me and be like, you my man, you're my top. And I'm just like, that's not what I am. You may want me to be that, but that's not me, girl. That's not me. That's just not me. And and that's okay. Don't let ever let nobody do it. Don't let the trade make you feel like you gotta be a woman. Don't let no man from a jack meetup make you feel like you gotta be masculine or you act too gay. That not even make sense, too gay. That don't make no fucking sense. There's no cap on gayness. There is no limitations to being gay. Don't let nobody tell you that. Talking about there's too much. Why they gotta walk like this? Why they gotta talk? Why are you concerned about what they're doing if that's not what you like? Thank you. You heard them crickets, girl? It don't make sense. Um, yeah. On to the next one. I just, yeah, please don't let nobody prepare you into doing nothing. You have your own mind, your own body. Please take control of it and have control of it. And before I get out of here with this video, I have one big point to make. Every feminine guy does not have to tuck. Every gay boy that is feminine does not have to imitate a coochie. We're gay, we know we're men. Some of us, we just feminine and have mustaches because we want y'all to know that we know we're men and we know we're men. Just because we wear some feminine clothes or some sort don't mean we have to tuck just to appropriate your eye. 
And I know a lot of people who just be like, I just don't like that. Baby, it's not just for you to like because it's not yours. It's not your body. It's not your community. It's nothing to do with you. So if you just sit here and say, I feel this type of way about it. How do you feel this type of way about something that has nothing to do with you? You know? So keep that in mind. If you're watching this video and you find yourself triggered by that, if you find yourself triggered by a man that wears leggings with we be out, something like that, why are you looking at that? Ask yourself that. Have you asked yourself that? Like, why am I so concerned about that? <laughs> you didn't. So, on that note, do not let society or the LGBT plus community determine who you are and what you're going to be. The sole purpose of the video was to get that across. Um, I just know within our community a lot that can create like a lot of confusion and confuse a lot of younger gays. And I, that, that, that's why I made this video and why I make these videos. Um, let's talk gay talk. Because I have a segment where I'm letting the younger gays is watching me. I'm letting them know like this is what it is and this is what this ain't. And this is what I learned. You know, that's all I can do. I only can tell you what I learned past on that knowledge to help you not run into those obstacles or run into the hurts that I did, if that makes sense. That is it, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please tune into my other videos. I am learning more and changing more about my brand and just like, um, you know, just learning how to create content. It's just something different. So this is like really something big on me. For my community, it's for my people, and it's really gonna help. And I couldn't feel no more happy about that. Once again, that is it, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I hope this branch don't fall on my house. I wish I could share all it, but it's on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Bye, girl.